Hi, I'm Dr. Travis Faulkner, and uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, our exercise that we use for a lot of lateral hip stability. Uh, we find this in a lot of runners, especially. Um, you have a lot of forward motion that you're working a lot of those muscles going forward, backward, uh, but not so much when you're going to the side. And what we see is, uh, especially with people's pelvis, they're unstable, um, they'll have hip problems, they're not able to stand on one leg or do different exercises like that without uh, feeling a lot of pain, or uh, they're wobbly all over the place. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you a simple exercise that just involves a therapy band um, to help start building up some of the glute meads out here on the side. That's what helps sort of balance you as far as your side to side motion. Um, what you do is you can put a band around your ankles, you can put it up here around your knees, so it's whatever you're more comfortable with. Um, sometimes we'll prescribe it one way or another, but for most people either is going to work for you. And then from there, what you're going to do, spread your feet out a little bit more than shoulder width apart, just so you have a little bit of tension underneath um, on the band. And then from there, I want you to get into a quarter squat. So if I look, if you look at it from the side, it's just coming straight down like this, not, not too far down, just enough to get a little bit of a bend at your hips and in your knees. Um, from there, what you do, so get into your position, and then you're just going to take real short steps as you come into the side. So real short steps. You're going to think that with your lead leg that you're pulling your other leg across and then with the back leg you're going to be nice and controlled on the way back. So you're coming back, nice and slow, nice short steps, just like that. Another big key that uh, you need to make sure that you're uh, watching out for is that as you're getting down into that squat, you're not pressing your knees out in front of your toes. So your knees should be back behind your toes, so it's almost like you're sitting back into a chair. So nice and controlled. If you're doing it correctly, you should feel it out here on the outside of your legs. You should not feel it in the lower part of your legs. 